Well, here we go. Day 24, building the smart wood shop. So I have the bases, the bottoms of the drawers out of that half inch ultralight ply ready to go, 100% done. So now I am working on the eight small drawers. That's their, they're all the same width and depth, but the height of the drawer. So these are gonna be around three inches or so, and the other one's around eight, so or around seven. So I only have eight of these drawers, and I wanna finish them and put them in the trailer so I feel better about my production before I dive into producing 20 of them. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going through all my scrap on the floor, all the fall off. I wanna be as efficient as possible. So anything that could be used for the wider drawers, I don't wanna rip. So I did check the dimensions on those. Looked close, but they're a little short. Lengths I needed ripped, and then I'm gonna cut them down to the exact size. Now again, I'm gonna start with the fronts and the backs, which are identical, and then I'll be cutting the handles in the fronts, so half of the ones I cut. So I've gotta have 16 fronts and backs, and then I'll have 16 sides. And uh, so, you know, being productive is making the same cut over and over. I don't want to change the machinery up, change the settings on the saws. Once I you know, have a particular cut, I'll make them all and then uh, move on to the next. Now, I had mentioned in the last video, I was going to use a temp my other template. I tried that and it was a little hard to set up. It took too long uh, to try to flush things up. This made more sense, so I had I took a piece of fall off and I made a jig. I made it so that I could clamp it back on the bench far enough back that it was out of the way of my router. Also, so it's spaced off the the bench. Um, the out uh, with a piece another piece of uh, fall off material. The you know made from this 12 millimeter um, ultralight, so that I could slip the piece up in on the bench about a half an inch and then clamp it. And you know, there, maybe there's a different type of jig I could have come up with, but kind of on the fly, this worked. So the only thing I have to do is clamp the uh, each piece on with two clamps. So again, I think uh, I could have come up with something else, but uh, this worked really well and it worked for all 28 drawers. So this uh, taking a few minutes to make this temporary um, jig, uh, really, really did pay off. And I know because obviously the trailer is done, so I know how functional it was. Sped this up here, I wanted to show you just cutting them. I only had eight of these narrow ones to do, but they all turn out identical. That's what's important when, um, when you're building something where you have repetition. You just want some system in place that helps you be efficient. You know, the setup, and then you can leverage that setup time over you know, multiple pieces and make that time up, but not only the time, but have an exact duplicate, each and every piece being identical. So now I got to do the, the uh, sides and they go all the way through, whereas the front and the back, they dive into or butt into the sides. And that is so that when I put them together, glued and nailed together, that um, when I pull on them, I won't be pulling in the direction of the staples or nails. I'll be pulling with them running crossways. So you'll see that uh, as I um, build out the drawers. So now I'm you know, here doing this, but I had somebody drop in who is looking at the house, a potential buyer. So I, um, once I realized they were there, I kind of shut down and uh, spent about the next couple hours uh, telling them about the house since I'm the builder. And so we'll move on to the next thing tomorrow. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.